Welcome back everyone, and today we have a special video all about the Flash movie's deleted scenes. We'll be diving into the alternate ending, the alternate post credit scenes, and Grant Gustin's Flash cameo. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel to catch all our superhero content. And before we begin, beware of spoilers if you haven't seen the movie yet. Alright, let's get started. Scene 1. Walter Hamada's Original Ending Plan During the production of The Flash, Walter Hamada, the former head of DC Films, had ambitious plans for the film's ending. He intended to introduce Michael Keaton's Batman as the main Batman of the DCEU and have Sasha Kale's Supergirl replace Henry Cavill's Superman. In this deleted scene, after Barry changes the placement of canned tomatoes to exonerate his father, we would have seen Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne and Sasha Kale's Supergirl arriving outside the court. However, when James Gunn and Peter Safran took over as co-presidents of DC Studios, they decided to reboot the franchise, leading to a reshoot of the ending scene. Scene 2. The alternate ending with Superman and Wonder Woman. After Walter Hamada's tenure ended, Dwayne Johnson played a significant role in bringing back Henry Cavill's Superman. As a result, a scene was filmed to include Cavill's Superman and Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman in the final courtroom ending of The Flash. Unfortunately, this ending was also scrapped when James Gunn took over. It's fascinating to see the alternate possibilities for the film's ending and the potential interactions between these iconic characters. Scene 3. Ben Affleck's Deleted post credit Scene Now let's move on to a deleted post credit scene that featured Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne. In this scene, Barry would have returned home after freeing his father, and Affleck's Bruce Wayne would have appeared on one of Barry's TV screens, revealing that the Justice League members were trapped in the multiverse. This scene was meant to set up a future storyline where Barry would rescue Bruce Wayne with the help of Michael Keaton's Batman in The Flash 2. Interestingly, this scene was part of Walter Hamada's plan to bring back all the old DCEU players in a crisis of Infinite Earths event film. Scene 4. Grant Gustin's The Flash Let's talk about Grant Gustin and his iconic role as The Flash in the CW's Arrowverse. For a whole decade, starting from 2013's Arrow Season 2, Gustin brought the character of Barry Allen to life. He then went on to headline his own show, The Flash, which had an impressive nine-season run from 2014 to 2023. Now, you might be wondering why Grant Gustin's Flash didn't make an appearance in the 2023 movie simply titled The Flash. Well, according to Barbara Muschietti, one of the film's producers, there just wasn't enough room to include Gustin in the already jam-packed story. It's a bummer for fans who were hoping to see a nod to Gustin's portrayal of the Scarlet Speedster in the movie. Interestingly, the Flash movie served as a reset for the DC Universe while paying tribute to everything that had come before. This would have been the perfect opportunity to celebrate Grant Gustin's contribution to the character. However, it seems that the creative team behind the film had a different vision and decided not to include Gustin's Flash. It's worth mentioning that Grant Gustin officially retired the role of The Flash in May 2023's finale of the CW's The Flash series. Unfortunately, even though Gustin bid farewell to the character on his TV show, his portrayal didn't receive a mention in The Flash movie. Finally, let's discuss the other deleted cameos that also didn't make it into the final cut of The Flash. According to Barbara Muschietti, there were several additional cameos that were initially planned. Linda Carter's Wonder Woman from the 1970s TV series, Marlon Brando's Jor-El from the original Superman movie, Burgess Meredith's Penguin from Adam West's Batman series, and Cesar Romero's Joker from the same universe were all considered for cameos. However, due to the abundance of choices, the Muschietti duo decided to prioritize the cameos we did get. And there you have it, folks. These were the deleted scenes from The Flash that didn't make it into the final film. It's always intriguing to explore the behind-the-scenes decisions and the alternate possibilities for these beloved characters. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed this deep dive into The Flash's deleted scenes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay speedy.